asterisk is a symbol or a special character that you have to use to make any variable as a pointer variable so i am mentioning the type of the parameter and type of the variable as a pointer variable so if i have the pointers to the function pointers will also help me to return multiple values Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the very interesting session on pointers. Yes, in the last class, I have introduced all of you to the concept of pointers and I have also shown you how exactly the assignment of the address will happen to a variable with the simulation. So guys, let's start the session without wasting much of your time. Then what do I have in this session? Yes, before I go to that concept, let me give you a simple recap on what I have discussed on a previous session and then I will show you what is that I am going to discuss in this session, right. So guys, in the last session, we have discussed what exactly the pointer is all about. When it comes to the concept of pointer, you need to remember pointer is a variable. Pointer is a variable which holds the address of another variable that's the most important point that you need to remember so fine i understood the concept of pointers so how exactly i will be storing the address to a variable the first point that you need to remember i will be using a symbol called ampersand say for example if i write ampersand a so for example i have written b here so i have the variable b and b is holding the address of a so can I write like this? Is it a valid statement if you ask me? Yes, of course, it is a valid statement unless this B is a pointer variable. That's what you need to keep it in your mind before we understand all this topic. So guys, this is what I have uh, shown you with the simulation in my previous session. And I want all of you to please go back to that and check what exactly we have done. So fine, what exactly that I have here with me in this session? I will be discussing how do I declare the pointer variable that's going to be the first one and also i will discuss about the pointer expression along with that i will also discuss the points with respect to the pointers and functions right so guys let's start the session so here i have some of the points which will help me access the address of a variable first so guys if i want to access the address of the variable so i have discussed this topic in my previous session so i have a program with me to demonstrate that concept so let me show you that so guys, what exactly I have here? I have hash include stdio.h. That's going to be the header file. Then followed by, I have the main function where exactly my execution of the program starts. You need to understand always the execution of the program starts from the main function. So fine. And I have a variable. So please observe what type of variable I have declared. I have just taken a variable, variable one of type integer. So is it a normal variable? Yes, of course, it's a normal variable. That's what you need to notice it here. So fine, followed by I have a array, okay? What is the name of the array? Way A R 2 okay? That's what uh, the name of the array that I have here. And the array is of type cat. That's what you need to observe. And the, moving forward, the next line that I have is printf. So here, I'm just trying to print the address of variable one and variable two. So with the help of the ampersand is what you have to observe. Since I have taken the written type as int, I have given here written zero. I have to return something. So that's why I have the statement as written zero. So this is a program which helps us to understand how exactly we print the address of the variable. So fine, moving forward, how do I declare a pointer variable is a concept that you need to understand. So how do I declare a variable? So please observe. So guys, first of all, I have to write the data type. What type of uh, pointer variable you need is what you need to specify. So fine. So the first thing that you all will write is data type. So this is a normal step, like you know how we declare the variable. In the same way, I'm going to write the data type. Then followed by, I have star pt name. What is the meaning of it? So, Asterisk is a symbol or a special character that you have to use to make any variable as a pointer variable is what you need to remember. If I write int, please observe int star a, then the star is making this variable as a pointer variable of type 
in is what you need to remember. In the same way, I have uh, shown you some examples with respect to the different data types pointers that I have here. Here I have created for double, here I have created for int and also I have for float. So this is what you need to observe and this is the syntax to declare the pointer variable is what you need to understand. Moving forward to the next topic, hope you find it very simple and easy. Moving forward, how do I initialize the pointer variable is what I'm trying to demonstrate here. So guys, I have uh, discussed about this even in my last session that uh, with the simulation, even that is also same and uh, I've taken the same example almost here. What exactly I have here? So please observe, I have taken the variable int quantity. Int quantity is a normal variable is what you need to understand and I'm creating the variable of type int. So please observe what type of variable is this? Is this a normal variable? No, it is not a normal variable. Please understand I have a star behind the variable name. So if I have a star behind the variable name, you should treat this as a pointer variable. You should treat this as a pointer variable. What is the speciality of pointer variable? This variable can also hold the address of another variable is what you need to remember. So can I do that with the other variables? No, you cannot. So that is what you need to understand at this point of time. So how do I save the address of another variable? So please observe here. So for P, P is a pointer variable and uh, quantity is a normal variable. So I'm trying to store the address of the quantity inside the P. So can P hold the address of quantity here? Yes, of course it can hold the address of the quantity because P is a pointer variable is what you need to understand. So this is how I will be initializing the pointer variable is what you need to understand. Now I have a second example here. It's what you need to remember with respect to the initialization of a pointer variable. Moving forward to the next concept. So this is an example that even you can perform some of the expressions with respect to the pointers. And you need to remember some of the simple rules before you perform the expression or before you perform some operations with respect to the pointers. Sir, can I perform addition with pointer to pointer variable? Can I perform uh, addition with pointer and the normal variable? Can I perform the multiplication with the pointer and the normal variable? Can I perform the multiplication with pointer to pointer variable? A lot of questions I have to all of you. I want all of you to think I will be answering that questions in my coming sessions. Guys, remember, can I perform the addition with a pointer? Say, for example, I have a pointer variable. So int p is a pointer variable, all right? So can I perform p plus q? Imagine q is a normal variable, okay? q is a normal variable and I have g, all right? So g and q is a normal variable. So observe, can I perform this operation? That's my question. And uh, imagine I have one more uh, variable that is a pointer variable. So can I perform uh, P plus K? Can I perform the addition between two pointer variables? Like this, I have a lot of questions which I will be answering to all of you in my next sessions. The operations that I can perform with the pointers is what I will be discussing in my next session. So you have to wait for that. So guys, so this is how I will be able to write the expressions uh, with the pointers is what you need to remember. And now passing the pointers to the function. How do I point, pass the pointers to the function? So please remember carefully. I have just taken a simple program. So you have the header files here. So I should include stdio.h and I have uh, time.h. So since I'm using the predefined functions of time, okay, I'm uh, including this statement. So that's not required here. This is what you need to remember for this concept. So fine, observe here carefully. Guys, what exactly I have done here? So I have the signature. So here itself, I am specifying what type of parameter I have. So I am mentioning the type of the parameter and type of the variable as a pointer variable. So that is most important that you have to specify in the signature itself. So this is how we have to specify. And here I have the function call and here I'm passing the parameter. So I'm passing the address of the parameter. So in which if you call or if you pass the address of the parameter, 
in the function call. So obviously in the function, I should have the pointer variable. So that's what we need to remember. Suppose if I want to have this pointer variable as a parameter, obviously I have to declare it here. That's what you need to observe. So only when I have the pointer as a parameter, I have to pass the address. So remember that carefully. So this is what I will call it as a call by reference, which I will be speaking you know, in detail in my coming session. So please make a note on that. So function call by reference, you are sending the reference, you're sending the address. So that's what I would like to tell you at this point of time. So this is what I will call it as a call by reference. You're calling with the help of the reference. Reference is what I will call it as a address. So if I want to pass the parameter as a address. So here in the formal parameters, so guys, I should have the pointer variable to accept that values is what you need to remember. Sir, why should I have the pointer var variable? So if you ask me, which variable has got the capacity to store the address of the another variable? Obviously pointer, right? So that's why I have the pointer here. If I pass the address, so the only capacity I have to store the address is for pointer. That's why I have the pointer. That is what you need to keep it in your mind now, right? So moving forward to the next uh, topic. So this is going to be the last topic for the day. Guys, why do I have uh, the pointers to the function? What is the one more advantage that I have? So if I have the pointers to the function, pointers will also help me to return multiple values. That is one of the advantage that we have and I have discussed in the advantages section. Yes, we all know that, but it is not a good practice to send the address of the local variable to the outside of this function. That is one of the important points that you need to remember. I repeat my statement to all of you. Please listen to me carefully. I have the variables which is declared inside the function and I call that as a local variables. If I'm using the function, I will be able to return the values. Multiple values is what you need to make a note if I'm using the pointers. If I'm returning the value out of this function, okay, so it is not a good practice to return the values outside this function. So for that, to avoid such problems, I will be declaring that local variables under the static scope is what we need to remember at this point of time. So guys, by saying this, I have come to an end of the session. In the next class, I will be discussing the different types of, uh, you know, in a different way, how do I call the functions with the help of pointers? And the pointer arrays is what I will be discussing along with the expressions. So till then, take care. Bye-bye.